I'm Six Xavier, and welcome to the cold snap winter, or summer, winter. Uh, who even knows what's going on anymore? Uh, anyway, a few things I need to do. Number one, let's get rid of all these stupid sniper rifles. Uh, Joe, you can go equip that. Christine, you already have one. Dash, you got a stabby stabby. I'm down here with a snipper snapper. Let's go equip that one. Wait, Christine, yeah, she has the legendary one. Plockets, you have one. Let's give you the superior one. Paolo, what are you currently wielding? A bow, that's great. Dreaker, you're good. And then, Chrissy, let's give you that normal one over there. Biggles, looks like you got a clubby. McFlubby, this is looking fine. Let's come over here now also. You know what I want to do, believe it or not? I want to do some interesting stuff, by which I mean, let's go back to the simple research era, right? Let's toss that in. I want to finish stone cutting uh, from research here. We're not, yeah, we have the whole thing to do, but we should be able to do it pretty quick. Reason being that I actually am going to be here for a little while, like another full four or, or three, I don't know how many seasons. Uh, do I leave in... I think three... No. So spring, summer, fall, winter. I think four seasons, actually. Well, three and a half, because it's the middle of spring. Uh, so I can actually make some stone weapons for the me melee characters. Maybe some... I don't think I can do steel. Probably not. Actually, let's go ch check this out. Can I Can I do steal something? Heal a short bow. I could make some longsword steel stuff. Well, regardless, I want to make some stone traps because there's almost no wood on this entire map anymore and I really need what little wood is left to make some bows and some other stuff. So I'm gonna chop some whatever wood is harvest like fully harvestable here. There's not much of it to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the wood around me. Look at that. There's almost nothing. Uh, but I'm hoping this wood fuels our tables and our smithy and whatnot through the next year. It's, it's really not going to, to be honest. I thought about putting a grow zone for more trees because they'll be done before I leave, but they'll probably get done like right as it's about time to leave. So it's, it's unlikely to be useful. So we'll leave that as it is. Everyone's got their guns the way I want. Oh, I wanted to redo all these beds to make them kind of cool. Let's reinstall, well, by cool, I mean like, you know, symmetrical. We'll put that one there. We'll reinstall this one here. We'll reinstall this one here. Uh, this one here will reinstall like, there. Wonderful. This one's kind of an oddity. I'm not sure what to do about this one. We'll reinstall it, I suppose, here. That's not so bad. And then we'll put this one, we'll reinstall it, like, there. And now we're getting down to the cosmetics, really. Let's reinstall this one. Oh, what the heck? This this one's kind of weird. There we go. We'll put it right there. It makes more sense for a double bed to be facing the other way. I'll probably redo that one again once it gets in position. Put that one over here. I've gotten food poisoning from Simple Meal. Great. Let's reinstall this one one more time. As such... And then I think I have to set this one for Dregory and Dash. Once again, manually uh, set owner. Yes, I do. Dash and a Dregory. Wonderful. Did I actually do it right? Let's make sure Dash Dregory. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, that looks a little sort of better, except this is like going to trip some people like really hardcore because it's upside down on the other side. But this is just a temporary thing because we have the thermal vent here. And that's not going to be like a normal thing in the future. But at least this looks sort of, sort of passable, I guess. I'm not like super big fan of it. I'd like to expand the rooms one more over and then maybe put the beds away from the wall, but what are you gonna do? Uh, so we're taming some boars, that's great. How kind of, whoa, wild boar revenge. Let's get out there and see. Okay, Christine, turn on, release the hounds. What kind of, okay, great. Whatever was the problem is no longer the problem. Let's turn her off of that. I probably should not have nudist hunting now that I think about it. Christine and Plockets, are they both assigned to hunt? Um, no, actually, they're both assigned to tame, but she does have animals. Plockets, are you assigned to hunt? The answer is yes. You really shouldn't be when you're nude because they can just rip you apart. But at the same time, it does level up your skill in hunting and maybe they won't rip you apart. Uh, so I guess we'll risk that. And if someday you randomly die, oh, oh well, so, so be it. Now then, how's our meals looking? We got nine. How's our inventory of food looking? We got zero. How's our corpses looking? We got zero. How's our hunting looking? Uh, we've got zero. Let's hunt all the turkeys on the map. Looks good. And the pockets were taming. Oh, Ibex. Here we go. Let's hunt all these doofers. Oh, Mega Sloth will hunt that too. There's some move. Oh, the one Mufalo, and it still has toxic buildup. That poor guy. Well, he's going away. You know what? Mufalo, we need you. Come join us, female age 10 Mufalo. We will name you something, and then we'll cry when you die. Maybe. Uh, let's speed things up. This is going too slow here. We're really getting low on the food. How long till the cold snap is over, we can replant. Some of our crops are actually surviving, amazingly. I wasn't really expecting that. It does seem like our issues right now are low food. I'm aware of that. Minor break risk. Well, 
hold on. Joe, Xavier, Christine. Let's take a look at all these characters. What are our needs? Uh, ugly environment, insulted, slept in the cold, observe rotting corpse. They shouldn't be observing the corpses that much unless they're running out here very infrequently. I could move them, but quite frankly... It shouldn't be that big of a deal most of the time, except for when we're hunting. Psychic Soothe, wonderful. Uh, so that was me. What is Christine's issues? Minor amount of pain, a bunch of animals died, that's it. And then me feeling bad, ugly environment, and a little pain. The ugly environment's probably all this garbage in here, for the most part. We could clone this floor from this tile over to there, but then again, we're gonna need wood for that, and we only have 300, and we kinda need those for the bows, and there's not many trees left, to be honest. So, I doubt that's a smart idea. Just, let's just let everything go as it is for now. Uh, need warm clothes. Well, that's just not happening. The cold snap goes away. We won't have to deal with it. We can stay in the warm temperature. We luckily do. I didn't even plan this thermal vent, but luckily it just happened to be right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wild boars miscarried due to starvation. Heel root died because of cold. A whole bunch of my plants are dying every night because of cold. Yep, they're all going to be gone before this cold snap is over. Uh, and then it looks like animal starvation, wild boar 40. There's got to be something they can eat somewhere. No, because the cold snap's preventing the grass from growing, which is making all my animals die. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, hopefully, this, they just entered starvation. They're all entering starvation. I'm just hoping the cold snap leaves and some grass grows and we can go freaking eat it. Like, just eat the grass. Just in case, though, let's expand. Wild boar miscarried due to starvation. That's all because of the cold snap. Expand the allowed area, animal area one. Are they even in? Oh, wait, I never grew this zone over here. Okay, well, we can grow something over there. Let's turn all that on. Uh, and then let's let them also come up here. Maybe there's some more grass up there. I don't know. You know what? Let them go anywhere they want. They're going to be really far away, though, if bad stuff starts happening. Let's let them also go down here in the middle and over here and over here. Maybe I should do one more grow zone, soil only, rich soil. Whatever, like, this area is awesome, we'll grab this and we'll go, a oh, rice, we'll plant that whenever the, the cold snap goes away. Smoke leaf binge, you're done. Colonist needs treatment, dash. Why is that? Oh, I don't know. Why does he need a treatment? Oh, because of his asthma. Left lung and his right lung. Wow. Is that, does it always happen in both lungs? I don't know. I don't know anything about asthma. My boars are still starving, but I think they'll be okay for a little while. Turkey revenge. Oh, no. It's a turkey, Joe. Please just kill the stupid... It's a turkey, Joe. Just shoot it in the face. I have to hold down alt, I believe. Oh, that lag. All right, fire at it. Just put it down. Really? It's right next to you. Your accuracy should be 100... It's actually 48%. There we go. You got it. Good job, Joe. So back to doing whatever you were doing. Let's speed things up. Go, go, go. Everyone's just running right through the corpse pile. I realize this is not the best place for the corpse pile. Why is everyone coming over here so much? Must be just be hunting. So once we're done with the hunting, it shouldn't be that bad. I could build a wall around it, but a wall out of what? I can't cut stone. Oh wait, speaking of, I got a research bench, so someone should probably be doing some researching. Drigri! Yes, let's put you on the research. I think uh, maybe even above crafting. Sure, we'll do that. So you'll be doing that like non-stop. Until we get stone cutting done. And then I think I'm pretty much done with the research, right? I don't care about brewing a drug production, carpet, electricity, eh. None of that's relevant to me. Where is Drigri? Relaxing social... A cold snap is over. Awesome. Okay, so we're back to not freezing to death. I believe these fires could probably be destroyed now. Yes, deconstruct, deconstruct, and deconstruct. All three of them. And maybe tomorrow we'll start planting again. I think. What's the temperature outside? 47. Inside, 85. Wow. That's in the storage room. And these rooms are like 68, 70. Okay. It'll work. I'm tempted to tear this whole wall down and rebuild it and move this thing so it's symmetrical. And then simultaneously double insulate the inside. Because I may actually need an insulated base for the next several grow zones. Maybe I should do that. How much wood do I have? 245. I believe I have enough wood to do it, to be honest. So let's move it out two tiles then. I am going to do it. Let's do structure. Oh god. Disease infection. That's fine. One, two. 
And then this thing is one, two, three, four, five. And we can center that right here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So like that, and put that in here, and this in like there and there. Mad animal now, disease infection, jump to the... Okay, this is a mad boar. Someone of reputable import will have to come out there and deal with it. I think it's going to have to be Christine, because she has the, the legion of boars, by which I mean like one boar. All right. Animals are still starving, including our Knickers Husky. Uh, hold on. Now there's a blight. A mysterious blight has ravaged your crops. Does the game even allow you to grow anymore? Because since Alpha 17, I have not been able to grow anything ever even once. Like in any game, it just doesn't happen. Christine, are you going to be all right? Do you have any boars to help you with this? I don't think you do. Now that... Okay, the boars just ran right up to you. I have the animals set to release, and they're not... Okay, we did it. We did it. But you're wounded now. What the hell happened with the animals? First of all, do more of them need to be set to you? Yes. But secondly, these ones need to be tamed to fight. So does that one. I think we'll leave all these alone for now. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. There should have been a bunch of... Bo oh, maybe they're starving from whatever. How's this Joe got an infection someplace, right? How's he doing? Infection minor. It got treated very well. He's going to be just fine. Just fine. Speaking of, medical tabs, everyone owns... What? Why? Christine's still bleeding. What is she doing? Where is she? Oh, she's getting... She's in the medical room getting healed. Uh, what was I doing now before getting interrupted? This. So let's grab this. Select similar. This whole wall, we're going to delete that. This we're going to delete and delete. And then we want to come in here for security. The sandbags was like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. Manhunter pack. Perfect time. Pack of manhunting caribous. It's not too bad. Okay, whole colony, get on alert, go inside. We're probably gonna need to fight these things. Let's release the hunt. Can we fight them, you think, maybe? I think we can. I think we can. Let's put everybody right here, except the melee guys will get, like, right... You know what? Let's get them all, like, right here. This, I believe, we can do. And we'll get Christine, like, over here, and let's get really tight-knit formation, if possible. No, that didn't work. We'll go over there. Who's in this spot right there? Do I have to hold Alt-click to go here and suffer zero FPS? It just, just isn't working. Dash, are you going there? No, you're going over here. Uh, this is going to be very weird because they're going to funnel in from this weird angle. I just now realized because we built this wall. Maybe I should get Dash over here or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's going on. I think we're close enough that we won't hit our boards in the back because it's within four tiles. But I could be wrong. Uh, all the melee characters like right here. Working out pretty good. Wild War 7 has been beaten to death. It's a squeal -a -thon. Oh, one got th one got in. Take them down, guys. All melee characters, take them down. Wait, I don't know what's going on anymore. One more. Done. Okay, what's the wounds? Uh, I think Christine was already wounded. That is true. Dregri got nothing. He was wounded before. Biggles, one bruise. Medical tab, colonists, no. Animals, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six scratches and one board that was killed, but that's it. Otherwise, we're looking good. Let's hunt all these boars, or caribou or whatever, because they're right here. It's still pretty warm out, though. We're going to have to turn all of this into whatever soon. How much rice did I really save? 74%, 76%. We have enough rice that I might be able... Hold on, we probably need to do growing on a three, because plant cutting and cleaning and stuff. Yeah, I think so. Let's do growing up to a two, then. we got to replant now that the cold, the cold snap is done. Solar flare, don't care about... Everybody heal up. You're all looking good. How's the medical tab looking on the animals? They're all looking good. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, wasn't I busy... Whoa, Dregory, ripping that wall apart. Pretty efficient. Wonderful. Now, this wall of things... Let's select similar. I think I want all of this to deconstruct, and then I need to come in here and do the sandbags. This was the middle, one, two, and I think it went over an additional one. What, what the heck is this? Hold on. Let's get that out of here. What is this? Cancel whatever this is. It's cargo pods. All right, I'll get on that in just a second. 
what is this? One, two, so it's supposed to be here and then one there, and then we also put up a wall here and there, and then we're done. Uh, except for this thing being there, but I need to grab all these, select similar in this whole row, deconstruct, same deal here, deconstruct, wonderful. And then why don't we throw up a wall like here? Oh wait, that's gonna go over my food stockpiles. Whatever, we'll 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 live with it. Uh, we'll put another one here, here. Bloody hell! So X, select similar. You guys get out of here, and we're otherwise good. And then we'll grab this, and we'll do copy there, copy here, copy, copy. Wonderful. And then last but not least, a copy of these doors for double insulation. And then we'll lock these ones actually open. Uh, most of the time, except for when we really need them. We could do the same thing over here, too, just lock that open. Only during the cold times do we need that. What are these cargo pods? Oh, wonderful! They're just a bunch of garbage we gotta move out of the way because they happen to land right in our fields. Awesome! Uh, and then I'm gonna need to fix up my stockpiles because they got all screwed up there very briefly. So, structure orders... Where the heck is this nonsense? Production? I can't even remember anymore. Why am I always struggling with this? Structure? Zone. Right. Uh, we wanna do meal stockpile. Huskies join! I got a bunch of huskies. I think we want to put the meals right here. Um, I honestly can't see what the hell's going on here. Let's grab these things and select similar. Let's delete them all out of this area. Then let's come in and extend this corp stockpile to like that. Something really big, wonderful. And then if possible, let's do meal stockpile extended here. Perfect. And then we probably need to do clear the allowed areas Animal area one. Again, we don't want these guys eating. Why are they allowed in this wall? We don't want that. We don't want this. We don't want them here and here. We don't want them eating our corpses most of the time. And that is exactly what we're preventing them from doing. Uh, we might need to restrict them from this as well and that. I don't know. I doubt it. It doesn't really matter so much. Then we need to expand the allowed area for animal quarantine, right? So to right here. That ever does come into account? Yes, I think that's good. We have a bunch of huskies now. How many did we get? I don't know. I didn't even see what was going on there. Animals. We got one husky? Two huskies? Oh, yeah, we got two huskies just randomly joined us. Okay, well, welcome to the fray, guys. Good luck. Now, we probably need to expand our sleeping spots because there's not enough. I wish there was a way to just drag and drop and make like 50 of these, but... Uh, there's not that I know of. Maybe there's a mod for that or something. This is a lot more symmetrical than before, that's for sure. Uh, but we do probably want to select the similar things from right there and delete those, and then that's probably good. Good. I like that. Much better. Uh, now, let's change our cleaning zone to the home area. That's probably going to say, yeah, I felt, I felt that it lagged there for a second. Probably everybody, well, no, because we have a lot of growing going on. But as soon as that's done, they'll, they'll get to cleaning. We're replanting this. Paolo apparently already planted that field over there. We got a bunch of people out here planting these fields. I really wonder how close we are to the rice. 95%. We're very close. Will it be soon enough that we can use these caribou meats to make some pemmican? That would be super awesome. I think I might want to change these things off of meat. Let's, let's turn the meat off for now. I'll come over here. We'll turn the meat off for now. Uh, reason being that I want to make up some rice meals out of them. And then also, let's make the pemmican maybe first, just for the time being, on both of them. We'll get a little bit of a stockpile going. Yeah, we do actually have some rice there, believe it or not. A little tiny bit of harvest. It only took us three, almost three full seasons. We're three days short of three full seasons to get some. And by some, I mean 21 rice grown out of this desolate, barren wasteland of awfulness. Come on, guys. Plant all this stuff. I love having, like, 17 growers, though. They plant really fast, and then they're going to do the same thing with cleaning really fast as soon as the time comes. In fact, Christine's already out there randomly cleaning a lot of random spaces. Let's find out where she's cleaning exactly. First of all, I don't think I want to clean this area. That's not necessary. I don't think I need to clean any of this area or any of this area. That just doesn't matter. This stuff, irrelevant. Get rid of it. Uh, back here, don't care. Over here, again, don't care. I suppose if there's a fire, I might want the home area to be like a little bit like this. One tile or whatever. But yeah, that looks pretty good. So one more day, then we'll really clean up. We'll really get all the stuff grown. 
Our simple meals probably need to be hauled urgently outside. Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't think they're even going to be refrigerated, right? Not refrigerated. Yep, I think it's like 40, 45, and we're not even hitting that at nighttime anymore. So we have no more refrigeration. Because we have no more refrigeration, I think it might make sense to not even have the stockpiles out here. It's just wasting time going back and forth. And all this meat spoiling in a day. <gasps> rice, though! Guys, 105 rice! Unbelievable! Let's haul it in there! Let's get some pemmican made! Yes! Look! It is happening! It is finally happening. Is the pemmican on up here? I believe it should be. Uh, yes, it is. That's awesome. And I think, though, we're using it to feed some of these animals that are wounded. Let me grab this pemmican, or this right, 14 more rice. It's not very much, I realize. But it's all we have. It's cause for celebration, in my opinion. Great, let's move the pemmican down. And go back to the meats. I realize that might use human meat, but it shouldn't be an issue. So we're not going to make any human meat. And when I move the base, it'll use the old item stash opportunity. Not even going to read it. It'll use the... Well, anyway, when I move the base and import the profile, it'll use the old one. and That'll be just fine and dandy. We have a lot of meat that's about to go to waste, though. How many meals do we have? 20. Wait a minute. We have nine characters now. Nine, 18... 36, like 54. All right, we can actually increase this to probably 54 meals. And this one, too. And we can even make a little bit more if I wanted to feed Lumpy as well, factor him into account. But I don't for right now. All right, how's our growing? Our growing's nearly done. Just a little bit more. Ooh, we got more rice. Hey, I don't know where that came from, but we'll haul that urgently. Oh, there goes our caribou meat from that caribou raid. Nothing I can do about it because of the cold snap. If I didn't have that cold snap, I could have turned all of that caribou meat into pemmican, which would have been glorious, but alas, most of it will go to waste. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to, some people are going to get crazy if I don't delete that thing. Yeah, this is a actually pretty well insulated, kind of modified concept of my thing. My original base. It's uh, modified for winter anyway. Now the big question is, what kind of animals do we have? We have nothing currently being hunted. We do still have a bunch of meat, almost all of which is 675 meat. How many meals? 16? How many up here? 30. 30 total. We can make 54. I'm going to wake myself up and go prioritize cooking very briefly. Uh, maybe I might also send Chrissy in there to do the same thing. Just to... Oh, wait, there's even more meat up here, I didn't realize. Mega Sloth meat, 300. Wow, we've been hunting this whole time. I forgot to shut the hunting off. Oops, after the, uh, the great caribou raid. So all of that caribou meat's gonna go to waste. What I can do, though, very briefly, is come in and expand allowed area, animal area one. You guys can come eat all that meat. Whenever you boars wake up, unless it's already spoiled, go for it. Have at it, friends. Yep, there we go. Monk's going to go eat some meat. Uh, Capone. We have, we have a boar named Capone. He's going to eat some of that meat. Little baby boars here. You guys eating the meat. Finally, we may actually have a full harvest. Hey, that, that guy just ate a meal. He's not supposed to be allowed in the meal. Can they actually... Okay, I think I know what's going on. That's clearly allowed area, animal area one. I think they're allowed if they can get within one tile... Like, they can eat the, the meal next to it. Maybe that's the problem. Because I just saw that boar walk up to here and eat the meal he wasn't allowed in. Well, at least this meat's not going to waste, and we are feeding some of our animals. I mean, I don't know if they could graze. Yeah, they can graze. We're just wasting time here. This, this is a complete waste. Yeah, you guys, just go outside. Just go, just go eat in, like, a normal outside environment. Okay, growing is done. Lots of people are taming animals, presumably, all around the map. Successfully tamed a boar. Boar is pregnant. Critical alert, major break risk times two. Really, Christine, end plockets? Why is this? Why are you guys having such issues in this land of plenty? Honestly. 
Observe rotting corpse, and all your animals died. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Plockets, feeling bad, ugly environment, insulted, rotting corpse. Okay, so basically you both walk by the corpse pile, that'll go away. And we're good. Low medicine, we only have 14 medications left. Yeah, well, that'll happen when you can't grow for over a year. Non-stop. One colonist idle, dash. Wild boar has gotten po food poisoning from Mega Sloth. Okay. I think we're actually out of meat now. Let's see what Dash can do, if there's anything else I can make him do. Clean no, he's got cleaning, but I guess we actually cleaned everything, we plant cut everything, we grew everything. Let's put growing back on three now, where it should be normally. Uh, our research is very slowly coming along. I don't know. This is fine by me. Now that we've cleaned up the whole zone, let's change the, the cleaning zone into only the quarantine. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should move these things up here. Or even kind of concern myself with making this guy feel better. Ugly environment slept on ground. We didn't even have a table. I mean, a bed for him. All right. Let's uh, build a copy of this. We'll give him a real bed <laughs> in the kitchen. This meal stockpile should not be set to pemmican. And it is. So let's get that off. This one also is should not have meals. It should... I thought it was supposed to be just, uh... What is this stockpile? I thought it was just supposed to be just animal corpses. Chocolate, hay, kibble? Probably don't want chocolate there either. Mm. Birthday! Joe has reached the biological age of 61. Unfortunately, Joe has gained the following diseases. Bad back. <laughs> Welcome to the, to the ripe old age of 61. I like how the only time the game ever celebrates birthdays... It, Birthdays, rather, is to tell you you're getting old and falling apart. Uh, that's wonderful. It's like, congratulations! It sucks so much. Although, honestly, it begs the question, why don't we do that in real life? Like, hate birthdays and avoid them like the plague and pretend they don't exist. Fascinating question. All right, Drigri's here re researching. That's good. Let's pay attention to what's going on. Lots of people are hauling it. I'm not right. Oh, they're hauling all the chunks from a thousand years ago. Right, let's haul some more of these, because those showed up. I forgot we even were trying to do that. That was a long time ago that I set that up. Let's select all similar wood and such and chop it. And then we'll select this, select similar, all of you guys, chop that. We're actually going to have, like, a sort of defensible perimeter here in not too long. Let's grab this bush, select similar, all of you guys, cut you out. These ones right here, uh, select similar, whatever you are, cut you out. Awesome. Not bad. You know what? We can grab all these things, too. We can haul those out of the way, because they might be able to use them as snipers against us. But otherwise, I think we're pretty good here. Didn't realize there was so much random hauling to do. But, you know, Paolo is cleaning dirt. I should probably take, uh, since I have so many people in the colony now, I should probably take my tailors off of cleaning. So that was going to be Paolo. You can do cleaning on a three. So it comes after tailoring and Biggles, you can do cleaning on a three. So we want two people tailoring all the time. And Drigri, you're going to research until you're done with that. Then you're going to go back to making bows, which is fine by us. And let's work on uh, some making some things not suck here, shall we? Let's do floors of the wood floor variety. We'll go all around the base like this. Do we have the wood for this? 301? Not really. Uh, then we can do barn floors. More floors. Barn floor. We'll do it right there. Just so it's symmetrical with the other side. Whoa! Christy and Christine got in a fight. Who wins? Probably uh, the person with all the armor and clothes. No. Christine, completely naked, just punched out Chrissy wearing armor and a helmet and pants and double strand. Wow. Let's take a look at the wounds, though. Christine has, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Chrissy's got like 3,000. Whatever the problem was there, Christine really, really secured the victory. Hands down. Hands down. Congratulations. You are victorious. Now, what do I want to do in this kitchen? I want to do something that's sort of okay. Wooden floorboard six. Barn is two. Vertical. Vertical is three. Why don't we put vertical in here? Because I think that's the same thing we used out there. Oh, bloody hell. I put the wrong one in. 
Mental break, fire starting spree, don't care. We'll be fine. Hunter lacks ranged weapons. Uh, this time it's Chrissy. Let's have her come up here and grab that normal great bow. Hopefully that takes care of it. I bet Christine... Nope. She didn't drop hers. It was just Chrissy. Where's the fires? They're down here. You guys will get on it. No problem. Plockets is putting them out. Why are we have camels on fire now? What the hell, guys? Come on. Paulo, what are you... Why are you lighting all our, like, animals on fire? You lit a camel on fire? You lit an alpaca on fire? What's going on? Why? Plockets, um, you might want to come down here. We can't even do it. I can't even do it. I don't know why Olaf is burning and I can't put him out. Oh, no, Bagels is putting it out. That's maybe why. Any other big fires? Nope. Please knock the fire out so I can increase the game speed here. Okay. All right, fire starting spree is over. Base is back together. We chewed through all of our wood. I'm not sure if that was a sensible thing to do there. Let's do more chopping wood. Oh my lord, there's so few grown trees. There's so few. We're gonna have to chop them, like, all over the map. Alright, well, there we go. Chopped them all over the map. How long till our actual rice harvest? 80%. Hold on! Looks like we got a fighter we gotta deal with down here. Expand the home area over it, just for the temp time being. Then we'll clear the home area whenever- Oh, now we have a boar that ran- Why do so many animals run face first into the fire, and then get lit on fire? You think once they get close to it, they'd be like, yo, this hurts and not, like, lay in it until they catch fire. Like, it actually takes some effort to catch fire. Come on. Come on. And the game always slows down to watch it, too, which is kind of silly. Great. The great fire starting spree of 5504 has come to an end. Now then, why is Paolo harvesting an oak tree? That's why. Alright, uh, so whoever was on cleaning should not be doing plant cutting, <laughs> uh, and also Biggles. There we go. So they should be both- nope, actually, they probably need to do plant cutting on a four, because they have to do tailoring first. I really want the tailoring done. Ooh, here comes some rice! Our first natural rice harvest. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. Tomorrow's gonna be a glorious day. A pretty quiet, but glorious day. Ooh, we actually have animals here to put on Christine as a master. Another boar to tame up. These things are getting tamed. Or trained. By someone at some point. I don't know when or who, but... Especially once we get the rice harvested and we're actually good on that front, we can make some use out of it. Uh, I really am annoyed by the fact that I put the wrong floor in here. Uh, it really was supposed to be that floor all around. So I'm tempted to go through and redo it. More floors, remove floor. I mean, this is something that's going to uh, bug me forever. Vertical? Yeah, it was the vertical. All right, so let's do the vertical here and here and here and here and here and here. And we'll put the whole thing back in like this. Much better. Although I really feel like I screwed the hallway up and it shouldn't have been the barn, so now I need to redo that. This stuff matters, guys. This is, like, very important stuff here. Vertical floorboards when we get the time. Right like that. Awesome. Mental break. Smoke leaf binge. All right. Oh, yeah, right. I wanted to watch this. Look at the harvest go. That is... Oh, hey, now I realize this uh, zone over here, expand, clear, allowed area, animal area one. Yeah, they're allowed to come into some of these places because I never really anticipated farming that. But there, I think I've fixed it up a little bit. And they probably shouldn't be close enough that they can get the rice when it lands near these things. Oh, we don't even want them eating the corn. That was... Oh, they don't want them eating the rice either. Wow, okay, get them out of there. And maybe not there either, and that looks better. Lots of areas up here they can go graze on if they want to. I'm curious why they're not- wow. Let's expand the animal area one down here. They can go graze on all that stuff. To their heart's content, as far as I'm concerned. This is cool. Like, actual defenses, except I don't have, um, traps or whatever. And I haven't really seen anyone do anything but growing for a long time. Although growing is probably a lot more important than making Devil's Strand stuff. At some point, I, I long for the day when everyone's apparel is super awesome. 
Unhappy nudity, tattered apparel on Christine. Why is Christine? Oh, she has a helmet. That's why. Summer has begun. We did it. I have survived the brutal winter. Now I just need to not have four more cold snaps or a toxic fallout. Did I do this rice? I meant this to be, I think, smoke leaf. Whoopsie daisy. How close is it uh, to being done? 90%, 90%, 89, 91. All right, I'll wait a little bit and I think I'll switch that over to either. Yeah, I think smoke leaf. That's what that needs to be. And these benches, do I have enough wood to duplicate them? No, I don't. Is there any more choppy choppies going on? I don't think so. I am so short on wood. It's insane. Come on, guys. Chop whatever wood there is, like, on the map. It's going to be such a waste of time hauling it, though. Look at this. Nothing. There's nothing. The whole map is barren. I am literally chopping the entire map of wood. The entire map of wood. All right, well, I probably should not have put those floors in then. But they look so cool, though, don't they? It's, like, super symmetrical. I probably should have not done this because that's all garbage looking, but... <gasps> Can you guys believe that I missed one right there? Oh, unfathomable. I'm wondering if I should make, like, the, the floors under the doors the same thing as the threshold, like, up to the inside? Probably be a little bit more uniform looking, I think. But that's a, that's a question for another day. I wanted to make a couple benches up here. How much wood do these benches take to build? 15? That's not much. We'll put two there just to speed up the crafting stations whenever that comes along. Oh, right. We got to haul all this rice. Whoa. 900 rice, you say. Well, you know what? I think it's time. It is time to do zone vegetables. The vegetables going here. Awesome, we'll throw that in. Let's delete this prisoner nonsense. This forgettables, we really want this to be not important, but rather just normal, and the important one to be up there. Awesome. And then we probably should just keep our meals in there. There's no real reason to keep them out here anymore. So why don't we just delete that thing, and we'll do a meal stockpile in here, like we used to have, and grab that and shut off Femmican. Awesome. And this one down here, what even is this? I don't know. The meat's supposed to go up there. We don't need this stockpile anymore either. Delete it. These are pretty hideous looking things. Yeah, that's right. You can you can hit this and you can actually hit hide. And then the same thing here. We'll hide that and we'll hide this. Just make it look a lot cleaner and better. In fact, I should probably do that for all of my stockpiles. Because I know where they are. It's not like they ever change, right? Like I've played this game for probably close to 300 hours now and only realized you could hide stockpiles very, very recently. Um, I don't know when these haul orders are going to come through. I'm concerned that I should do a haul plus command now just to get like the basics going because we're getting low on food. Nah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm just going to shut up for a minute and let the game run. Wait, no, foggy rain. Never mind. All urgently. All urgently. All things that can be harvested. Haul them all urgently. Stupid rain. I like how it doesn't rain for three seasons until I have a huge harvest, then it immediately starts raining. Uh, whoa, hold on. There's a party going on. Biggles is throwing a party. Everyone's invited. How nice of you, Biggles. Welcome to the colony. You don't seem to be wearing any clothes, though, is the thing. I guess that's all right. That's one way to throw a party. Even Dash is in here, but is he getting the attending party bonus? Low expectations, high on smoke leave, got married, opinion of wife, very comfortable, spacious, slightly impressive dining room, decent bedroom. See, that's what I, why I wanted to get rid of that crafting stuff, because now we have a slightly impressive dining room. That was really the goal there with that operation. Let's build a copy of this torch up here and another one right there, even though I have zero wood and, like, zero more wood coming. All these trees, can we select similar? Just grab them all and chop them. We'll get whatever wood we can out of them. I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll see. Uh, we actually are. Look how fast things get hauled when you have nine people doing priority hauling. Like, a lot of stuff just got hauled. Poor Lumpy here, walking around in a field of rice. It's like Scrooge McDuck, but rice. And he gets to, like, live the high life, as they say. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess eating, living on top of rice would be the high life. Better than living on top of dirt, right? Which is what he was doing until very recently. 
How are we getting even more rice? This stuff is getting, like, produced faster than I can even haul it. Yeah, this grow zone down here, I didn't want this anymore. Let's go over to smoke leaf. That's what I want there. We may be overboard on the rice, to be honest, especially with the corns. I think it might make sense to convert this one up here to a heel root when it grows next, which is going to be pretty soon. Because we don't have nearly enough heel root, and it, and it helps to have, like, a massive stockpile just in case something goes horrifically awry. Oh, yeah. There we go. Meals up the wazoo. Any of these producing wood? Nope. I thought maybe some of them would produce a little bit of wood, but I guess not. So I should probably just grab them all, select similar, and cancel. Because they're just getting chopped for no reason. Same deal up here. Yeah, they're not even producing wood. I thought you get a little bit, but I... There must be some sort of threshold. I don't know what it is. Bulk goods trader. This is awesome. I haven't had a trader in ages of empires. Come on, friends. Come in. Come on in and buy all this random garbage. Please say you'll buy literally all the random garbage because I have a lot. It would be awesome if you happen to bring, like, some really expensive bionics, but I'm sure you won't. It would just be awesome if you did. All right, Dash, you're the talker. You want to come over here and do some talking? All right. Here we go. They have $880. That is pathetic. What will they sell us? Um, $5,000 uranium advanced. Is that even good? Armor blunt 11, sharp 34. Blunt 11, sharp 34. What, what's like, what do we have? 9 and 30. Not. It's definitely not worth four $5,000. That's for sure. I think we will buy that steel helmet, though, because it's better quality. And we'll sell off uh, whatever we can. Like shoddy stuff. Clothing first, because it's so bulky and takes up the most of the stuff. Devil Strand, two of those shirts, because they're beaten up. Wow, we're selling all kinds of Devil Strand stuff that's gotten beaten up over the time. Yeah, okay. All this stuff, gone, 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 gone. Elk hide pants, 1% dead vans. Why do we even have that? What a bunch of waste. What a bunch of waste. Any kind of small stockpiles of stuff we can get rid of. Let's get rid of them. $663. Wonderful. $830. Our Devil String, we still have quite a bit of it. All right, sell that and this. Can we buy anything from you guys? Pemmican. Sure, we'll buy all your pemmican. And we'll trade you some other stuff we don't want. Like wool. We have 1,100 freaking wool. Mega sloth wool. Sold. Camel hair. Sold. Alpaca wool. Sold. You can't even buy this stuff. You're so poor. Can you guys come back? Some more money, maybe? 125 Looks like as good as I can do thereabouts. I guess we'll take it. I could buy meat from them and turn the meat into stuff, but I could always just hunt it, too, so... Hmm. Wait a minute. Am I buying dromedary leather? No. Steel. I could buy steel. How much do we have? We have 118 That's more than we need. We could buy wood. I do need some wood. I don't know if I need 300 wood, but what about like 100? You know what? I'll take all the wood. You know, never mind. I'll take all the wood, and I'll just give you guys a bunch of wool I'm never going to use. <laughs> yep, more than I can even sell. Awesome. 400. Nope, can't even do that. 300. Wait a minute. What if I bought these guys steel? Sure, I'll buy 100 steel from you, and then we'll sell you even more like, I don't know, beaver skin. Looks pretty good. Pick this up just a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Done. Except tons of stuff gone. Let's haul this thing urgently so it gets out of the rotting rain. Otherwise, we're good. Let's also grab all this random pemmican. We'll haul that urgently so it gets out of the rain as well. And there we go. We're looking pretty, pretty good here. The only problem is this floor, when I go to move, when I when I copy the blueprint for this, when I go to the next thing, is going to clone itself in. But whatever. I just have to remember to, to deal with that. So, Paolo, what are you doing? Sowing smoke leaf. You're growing instead of... I got, that's actually good. Yeah, you should be growing instead of planting. Or uh, whatever it is. Squirrel self-tame. Let's get you out of here. Wherever you are, squirrel, we hate you. A murder. Set you into the home zone. Or actually even in the quarantine so you can get quickly murdered. Everybody's on a one for murder. Yep, Plockett's murdered that squirrel in record time. 
I don't even want that thing coming near to one of my rice piles or something like that. Don't even, not even close. Just don't even let it. Monk the Husky's starving. Now, here's the thing. These guys can't really eat anything, the Huskies. It's like they need to be allowed into the eatery. Um, which kind of annoys me. I don't know. Hmm. All right, fine. Let's let's deal with it somehow. So, I'm gonna have to restrict, uh, manage areas, new animal area, new animal area two, rename, uh, rename you to Husky. Yeah, very 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 good. Uh, now, manhunter, another one, manhunting wargs. This ended one of my campaigns before. Will it end this campaign? Holy mother of heavens! It very well might, and you'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. I'll see these wargs soon, too. God, there's so many of them. So many. Christine, completely naked, just punched out Chrissy wearing armor and a helmet and pants and double strand. Wow. Let's take a look at the wounds, though. Christine has, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Christy's got, like, 3,000. Whatever the problem was there, Christine really, really secured the victory.